Hello friends, in the previous videos there were some values like region and zone that we needed in multiple locations of the configuration and I just went with retyping them every time I needed to. I used what is called hard-coded values. HashiCorp configuration language like any other can include variables to make configurations more dynamic and flexible. We call them input variables. So let's see how it works. First of all, variable declaration can be done anywhere, but it is recommended to define them in their own file to make the configuration easier to organize and understand. So in the same directory as the main configuration file, let's create a new one called variables.tf. Declaring variables is pretty simple. Each variable is a block that always starts with the keyword variable, then follows the name between quotation marks, and finally a pair of braces to contain the said variable's definition. So let's start with the project. First the variable keyword, then project between quotation marks, and two empty braces. Do the same thing for credentials file. These two variables are undeclared variables. You'll see in a moment why we're keeping them empty. For region and zone, it's a little bit different. Inside the braces, add a parameter, default set to the desired value. In our case, default equals US central one. In the same way, define zone and OS image, set the default value for zone to US central one A, and OS image value to Debian cloud Debian nine. By adding default values, zone, region, and OS image are optional values, while product and credentials file are required variables. Optional in this case doesn't mean we don't need them, it rather means Terraform already knows them and we don't need to give them on every operation. So how to use them? For demonstration purposes, remove network and subnet from the file and keep the VM instance. Now update the GCP provider configuration in main.tf to use our variables. Variables are referenced with the var prefix. So for the project, you would type var.project. For credentials file, you would type var.credentials file, and so on, you get it. We can do the same thing for region and zone. If you enter from plan now, it will ask you for values for project and credentials file. While region and zone have default values, we still need to populate project and credentials file. There are three ways to do this. We can either use arguments when running Terraform commands or use environment variables or use an input variable file. Let's start with the CLI. You can populate variables manually through the CLI with the dash var argument as follows. For each variable, you type dash var equals and the name of the variable and its value. We can also use an environment variable as a fallback. Terraform searches its environment for environment variable names starting with tf underscore var underscore the name of the declared variable. For credentials file, it would be export tf var credentials file equal credentials.json. Now plan again, but only give it the project variable as an argument. Great, it still works. But this is fine when you have two variables, but what if you had 10 of them? That's what TF var files are for. You can populate variables using values from a file. Terraform is designed to load terraform.tf vars and terraform.tf vars.json or anything ending with .auto tf vars or auto tf var json as value files when running operations. So let's create a terraform tf vars file and define project and credentials file. Set the project with its value and credentials file with its value between quotation marks. Remember, since the region and zone input variables are configured with default values, we don't need to set them here. Save this file and run terraform plan again. It should be as good as the previous ways. All right, everything went well. This was a quick introduction to how to use variables and in the next one, we'll cover different types of variables and validation rules. Thank you for watching and see you then.